There is a little girl buried under the sand, and they have not gotten to her yet. Okay, stay on the line. Chilling calls for help after a family's day at the beach takes a tragic turn. Two young children, a brother and sister, becoming trapped under sand. Authorities say they were digging a hole when it suddenly collapsed on them. And the boy was pulled out alive, but sadly, his little sister did not survive. And Local 10's Roy Ramos live now in Lauderdale by the sea with our top story at 4 o'clock. Roy. Calvin and Nicole, throughout the day, people have been stopping by the beach to leave flowers after hearing of this tragedy. It's just off in the distance where this all happened. That hole has since been filled, but this still fresh in the minds of many people who did whatever they could to try and help. I'm on the beach in front of high noon and there's a child that they're trying to get out. Frantic 911 calls made by beachgoers reporting of children buried in the sand on the beach just north of the pier at Lauderdale by the Sea Tuesday. And they're saying right now there's a little girl buried in the sand. Okay, let them know the call has been entered, okay? Those children involved in the tragic incident identified as nine year old Maddox Mattingly and his seven year old sister Sloan. Sadly, it was Sloan who unfortunately lost her life. These pictures provided to us by the children's father. Father started yelling for help, uh -huh. but his child is caught in a hole in the sand. Investigators said it was just after 3 o'clock Tuesday when beachgoers began to make those 911 calls reporting of a child buried in the sand right behind the High Noon Beach Resort. As deputies raced to the area, they could see people with buckets digging through the sand. I started to try and help push the sand, like as people were down in there, you know, they were pushing the sand out, so then I came and tried to push the sand farther back. We've learned the father was able to pull his son to safety as people continued to search for the boy's sister. Eventually, seven-year-old Sloan was found and rushed to Broward Health Medical Center where she lost her life. The young boy, I feel really bad for him too because you could see he was very visibly upset. While the circumstances still remain under investigation as to how this all happened, the Broward Sheriff's Office says the children were digging a hole that was four to five feet deep when they got trapped. I don't know how they're going to make it, you know, going forward. It, it, I mean, it's just such, such a tragedy. And I can tell you that I did get a chance to speak with the father of those children. He obviously was very emotional, going through a very difficult time right now. He says he uh, is right next to his family's side uh, to be there uh, as they try and get through this. For now, on Lauderdale by the Sea, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Our hearts are with that family. Just absolutely horrific. Roy, thank you.